Two weeks ago, the SpotCut integration, which is my main music integration in Home Assistant, suddenly stopped working. After looking around, I found this issue created by the developer on its KitKat repo. Basically, Spotify changed the way that the web browser version worked with Google Cast devices, effectively breaking Spot Cast functionality. Honestly, this sucks, but since officially Spotify doesn't provide a way to control the music playback with third-party applications like Home Assistant, the only way to make this work is by analyzing and using the services that the official applications used to work. But as you can imagine, this can and will definitely lead to breaking changes at some point, like in this case. Luckily, with the help of the developer of the Spotify Plus integration, another integration for Spotify in Home Assistant that I will link in the description, Felix, the maintainer of Spotcast, managed to restore its functionality. But the new setup process now requires the execution of a Python script, which is actually the reason why I'm making this video. I ran into some problems getting it to work due to the Python version my system used to work. So in this video, I show you a simple way to get it working in Windows and Linux. Plus, I updated my Spotify Music Follow Blueprint to work with the latest version of Spotcast, so you don't have to worry about any changes in services and all of that. Just select the right devices and call the script from any of your automations to start playing your favorite music. And if you're ready, let's go. But first, let me give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. They are not just any PCB manufacturer. They are the one-stop online manufacturer with 24-7 customer service. PCBWay provides lightning fast PCB fabrication and assembly, along with offerings in 3D printing and CNC machining. They provide the easiest way to make your projects come to life. And they recently added a new UV printing multicolor option that will allow you to print any image onto your PCBs. How cool is that? Whether you're a student tinkering in your garage or a seasoned engineer working on the next big thing, PCBWay has your back. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Okay, first we need to get the official integration working. Since I already covered this in a previous video, just take a look and follow the instructions. For this, we are going to use the official integration. I'll put a link in the description to the documentation. You can use integration with any account, but you will need a premium one to be able to control the playback. To set this up, first, we need to create a Spotify developer application. For this, we are going to go to the Spotify developer dashboard. Here, you can read the terms of service, click on accept and accept terms. Let's click and create app. We are going to give it a name and redirect query, we are just going to copy this one that is in the documentation. Click and I understand and agree with Spotify, developer in terms of service, and then click save. Now we need to go to settings and here we are going to click on view client secret and we are going to use this information in Home Assistant. Now just go to settings, integrations, click on add integration and search for Spotify. Here we are going to give it a name and put the information from our developer app. Let's copy the client ID and the client secret. After that, just click on add. We scroll down and click on agree. Here we click link account. This is going to redirect us to home assistant. And we now have here our Spotify integration. I set this up with a free account, so I am only able to watch the playback status. If you want to use more than one account, you can do that. And since you already have a developer account, the only thing that you are going to need is to give the new account permission to use it. For this, we are going to go to user management, and here we are going to fill the name and the email of the new account. Click add user, and that's it. Then go to home assistant, settings, integrations, Click on add integration and search for Spotify. And we are going to log in with the new account. Here we scroll down and click on agree. And again, let's click on link account and this will take us to home assistant. Let's just click finish. And now we have our two Spotify accounts integrated into home assistant. Since this is a premium account, we do have access to the playback control. So we can pause it and play it if we want. Now, after we got that configured, we need to install the Spotcast integration. For this, you can use this button on my website. For this, we will need hacks installed. If you don't have it installed, you can follow the instructions I will put on my website. Then use this button to install the Spotcast integration into Home Assistant. Click on open link. And here, click on download. Here, we need to pay attention at the version that we are installing. The default one is the V4, but to get the latest version working, we need to install the V6 version. So for that, click on the dropdown and here click on releases. From here, select the latest release. 
then click on download. After it's finished, go to developer tools. And here, click on restart. After you restart Home Assistant, we need to run the Python script to get the new authentication tokens needed for the integration to work. Now, go back to my website. For this, we need to start some package in our system first. If you're using Windows, just copy and paste this from my website to a PowerShell terminal. If you're using Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, just copy this. And if you are in another version, you can install Python 3.13 using these commands. With that out of the way, we need to download the code and set up the environment to run the script. I put all the commands needed for each operating system on my website. If you are on Windows, be sure to close and open a new PowerShell window before pasting these commands. This will automatically download the code, set up the environment, and run the script. This will open a window to the Spotify web version. Just log in with your account. And after you see this window, go back to the terminal. And here we got the tokens we need for the configuration. Now go back to my website. And here you can use this button to start the configuration. Click on open link. Here click on OK. Just wait a couple seconds. Now, first, we need the client ID and secret from the developer account we created earlier for the Spotify integration. Here, just give it a name. And place the values. Then, click on Add. Here, click on Link Account. And now, we need to paste here the access token and the refresh token we got on our terminal. Then click Submit. Here select an area if you want, or just click Skip and Finish. And that's it. With this, you should have the podcast working on your home assistant already. And now I'm going to show you the easiest way to use it in your automations using my Spotify Music Follow Blueprint. If you are subscribed to my channel, you can get it for free on my website. Just log in with your Google account so you can get access to my free blueprints, automations, scripts, and more in the free section of my shop. Then just unlock it. Then just use this button to import it directly into Home Assistant. Click on Open Link. And here, if you already have it, just click on Override Blueprint. Now, to use it, just open it. This Blueprint will let you create scripts that will not only start the playback for any song, album, or playlist you choose, but it will automatically detect if you are listening to music and move the music to the selected media player. For this, first, we need to select the media player from the official Spotify integration, since this will allow the Blueprint to know if we are already listening to music. Then, select the media player when you want to play the music. Then, scroll down. Here, you can activate or deactivate Shuffle, and the same for Repeat Mode. And here, we need to set the URI for the playlist, song, or album that we want to play. For this, open the Spotify app, then just select it, click on the three dots, go to share, and here press and hold control, and then click on copy Spotify URI. And then just paste it in Home Assistant. Now, if you have multiple accounts set up, you need to specify which account you want to use. For this, just select use a specific account, and then from the dropdown, select the integration. And then just click on Save the Script. Give it a name and then click Rename. 
I created one for each room in my house. And I instructed the AI to use this script if I ever asked to play music in a specific room. Let me know in the comments how this worked for you. Also, take a moment to go and leave a star on the repository of integration. I read that Felix, the maintainer, doesn't actually use his podcast anymore. Yet, he still took time to investigate and fix this issue for us. And if you want help with Home Assistant, you can book a one-hour meeting with me. So we can take a closer look at your smart home and help you achieve the seamless automation experience based on your needs. So you can make your smart home actually help you achieve your goals. If you like my work, please consider becoming a member on Patreon like all these amazing people. If you can become a member, you can always donate whatever you like using the button on our website. And if you can do that, don't worry. Just leave a comment on the video and share it with your friends. We truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!